हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम इंग्लिश एक्सेल फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क्ड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस ऑफ एच पी एल सी सो लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज व्हाट इज ए मोबाइल फीज इन एच पी एल सी आंसर इज द मोबाइल फीज इज द लिक्विड दैट फ्लोस थ्रू द कॉलम एंड कैरीज द सैंपल कंपोनेंट विथ इट इट इज यूजली कंपोस्ट ऑफ ए सॉल्वेंट और मिक्सर ऑफ सॉल्वेंट नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट इज ए स्टेशनरी फेज इन एच पी एल सी द आंसर इज द स्टेशनरी फेज इज द सॉलिड मेटेरियल पैक्ट इन टू द कॉलम दैट सेपरेट्स द सैंपल कंपोनेंट बेस्ड ऑन देयर इंटरेक्शन विद द मेटेरियल नेक्स्ट इज What is the difference between qualitative and quantitative analysis in HPLC? The answer is qualitative analysis is used to identify the components in a mixture, while quantitative analysis is used to determine the amount of each component. Next is what is peak telling in HPLC? and how can it be prevented the answer is peak telling is when a peak has a distorted or asymmetric shape which can be caused by interaction between the sample and the stationary phase it can be prevented by adjusting the mobile phase composition ph or temperature next is what is the purpose of the guard column in hplc the answer is the guard column is a small column placed before the analytical column to protect it from contaminants or particles that can interfere with the separation next is what is the difference between isocratic and gradient elevation in hplc the answer is isocratic elevation uses a single mobile phase composition throughout the separation while gradient elevation uses a changing mobile phase composition to achieve better resolution and separation of components next is what is the purpose of the flow rate in hplc the answer is the flow rate controls the rate at which the mobile phase is pumped through the column which affect the separation and detection of sample components next is what is the role of ph in hplc the answer is the ph can affect the retention and separation of components in a sample especially for ionizable compounds it can be adjusted by adding buffer or changing the mobile phase composition next is what is the purpose of a pre column filter in hplc the answer is a pre column filter is used to remove any particles or contaminants from the sample before it enter the column which can prevent damage to the column and improve the separation next is what is the difference between a refractive index detector and a conductivity detector in hplc the answer is a refractive index detector measure the changes in the refractive index of the mobile phase caused by the presence of the analyte while a conductivity detector measures the electrical conductivity of the mobile phase and detect the ion produced by the analyte friends these are all about the most frequently asked questions of hplc during interview